everybody welcome back to my channel it's Christine I'm here to do my weekly wrap-up and I have a razzle she's wanting loved ones right now so the first oh here we go first book I finished I think was this one? yeah um, claiming her billion dollar birthright by Maureen Child I think it's book one in Jared's dynasty um, this is one of those long-lost um, daughters finding family um, he's the lawyer his name is Christian he's the lawyer for her father her biological father and he has just passed away and since she's in in his will it's she's entitled to a piece of his fortune on the stipulation that she has to come back and work there um, her father the one that took care of her um, is not happy about it because they're kind of warring um, dynasty families I, I guess you'd say so he kind of you know thinks she's cute and so she comes and works at the resort in Aspen and meets her siblings some of them don't trust her or don't want to trust her some of them like her um, and of course a romance ensues but he's not allowed to fraternize with any of his the Mr. Jared Don Jared's um, kids so he fights with that it's cute I liked it I gave it a four um, I just didn't like the, the very quick relationship as it as it was um, then I think did I finish this one first or well, it doesn't really matter um, I read Mr. Irresistible by Karina Bliss and these are for the triple RC challenge that I'm doing and I read it on my tablet so you know it is what it is but it's book two this is Jordan's story with oh what is her name I want to say Katie um, he is one of a trio of uh, business owners that he's the adventuresome type she is a reporter who has a boyfriend and her boyfriend kind of apologizes for her so that he can get what he can through her um, because he's dating her so he tries to get business deals because he's her boyfriend so she had written a report on or an article on Jordan saying that he's trying to get this um, camp for kids going and yet his personal life he sleeps with a married woman who's got kids so she's trying to ruin his reputation that's what she's known for and he decides well I want you her to see or he wants her to see how he is with kids so he invites his nephew um, and I'm not sure if it's his nephew's friend and his father. Oh no, sorry. It's his ex's son and his father on this um, camping trip through the Australian woods, I guess. And so things ensue. And again, I gave it a four. I really enjoyed it. I just didn't like the instant like it wasn't instant because she hated him to begin with sorry itchy ear she hated him to begin with and then you know by the end of the week you know she liked him but like three weeks later there's a major thing so I didn't quite like that because it just happened way too fast um, but yeah I, I enjoyed it and then I finished Grace's Forgiveness by Molly Jebber. Um, this is book two in the Keepsake Pocket Quilt novels. And this is way more Amish than the first one. The first one was about a girl who leaves the Amish to go into the English world. This one is her friend um, Anna Grace, duh, Grace, who stays in the Amish and has to battle internally about having to shun people who are English. Or who have left the Amish and went to English and a man comes to town and um, opens a store kind of attached to the store she owns and um, you know relationship 
kind of blossoms. And it's cute. Um, I think I still gave it a three though because it was just... I didn't have a, part, a problem with the religion part. Um, there's still, you know, there's a lot of praying and religion in this. So if you're not into that, don't. But she's a midwife. She knows who's having babies. And in an Amish community, everybody knows everybody. Because that's all you know. A woman comes in the store saying she's, her friend's about to have a baby. And she introduces herself and the person who's having a baby. And these are community members. So I kind of found that a little bit weird. Um, and there's a, another part. There's a mystery to the book. Um, about people. Um, a per somebody. Staying in the barn. Of Mark. Yeah. Mark's barn. And other people's houses have been broken into. And things have been stolen. Nothing major. Just change here and there. It tells you on the back who's doing it. It doesn't even, you don't even find out until about there. Like three quarters of the way through the book is when everything is revealed and it said it on the back. So I, I think that's just an irritating thing. But again, it was a little bit stilted um, writing wise, story wise. It was much better than the first one I found. Um, so yeah, I. I liked it though. And I think that was it that I finished this week because of the family stuff that was going on. Um, like Wednesday completely was family from start to finish. It was celebration of life and then get togethers. And so I didn't get much reading done this week. Um, but currently reading, I have started, well, sorry. Oops. Um, I'm still working on Love Me Forever by Joanna Lindsay. Um, this is about a woman who needs to find a husband because her father wants to remarry. Um, her fiance kind of left her because he didn't feel like waiting for her money. And so she's been shipped to Sharing Cross to meet um, a husband. And the man she meets is kind of in love with the Duchess from the first book. So it's kind of iffy there. I'm not really liking that part too much because he's, you know, fawning all over this married duchess and she keeps telling him, I'm married, I'm happy, leave me alone. Um, so yeah, and then I started, I've only gotten one chapter done in Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Um, I should be like 15 chapters in by now. I've just, I've not had a real good chance to pick it up and dig my teeth into it. But I have until the end of August to read it anyway, so it's not like I have to rush. And then I picked up The Devil in Disguise by Cynthia Cynthia Eden. And I got this free um, from COBOL.com. The, they have free ebooks. This one is about um, the Lord of the Dark. And it um, there's paranormals. They're called paranormals. Um, of course, vampires, werewolves. Most humans don't know they exist. In this book, he's the Lord of the Dark. So he, you know, lords over everything that's evil. Including all paranormals. <clears throat> she is, um, Mina is a, uh, she's a siren. So she can tell men what to do when she puts power in her voice. <clears throat> Sorry. And the only way it works on him is if he's drunk. So she's trying to find something that he has. And it gets into why she wants it. But there's also this FBI agent that's after her. And he's her ex in a way. But he's not a good FBI agent. He's He has a team that are bad. Um, so she's trying to stay away from him. He wants her... As his new pet but it's different with her it's a romance I'm really loving it I'm flying through it um, and it's like 50 like 60 percent through and then so those are for my um, 
let's see, uh, the Triple RC Challenge and the Romance, the Summer Romance Book Bingo. So what I'm going to be reading, um, because I think, ah, I found this one was for the Summer Romance Book Bingo that has to have an interracial couple. So I found Blaze by Susan Johnson. It's book one, and I don't know what the series is called. I think it's, is it the Blaze series or Blaze? I can't remember. Um, but this is the book. Um, he's Indian and she's white. So the book I was originally going to use, he's got black ancestors and she's black. So I didn't really consider that interracial because he's mulatto, but he's half black. So I decided to go with this one. And then I might pick up these. I don't know. It depends on what mood I'm in. But Kathy Reich's Deja Dead, it's book one in the, what was it, Temperance Brennan? Yeah. The series that, um, book series that started Bones, the TV show. I never watched it, but, um, yeah, book one. Uh, I was going to do the reading rush this week. I just, I don't have time. So, if I can, I will, but I doubt it because this is Monday and it starts today, so... But anyways, um, The Lies We Told by Diane Chamberlain. This is for my summer romance book, Bingo, with purple on the cover. And just because I feel like it, because I think I changed my eye, what I was going to use this for. So Christopher Pike's The Wicked Heart. It'll be really quick, fast, easy read, like an afternoon read. So those are what I'm thinking of um, reading this week. Let me know what you guys are reading. If you guys are doing the reading rush, um, I think that's it. Um, I've been fighting a migraine today, so it's kind of easing off, thank God. But I have things to do. So I will let you guys go. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day, wonderful week. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. So I will talk to you later.